everybody, it's Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. Thanks so much for being here today. We're gonna work on these beautiful alcohol ink angel coasters today. So I'm gonna use the angel wing coasters available in my store, dryerdaysartstudio.com. I'm using some new resin here from Laura's Art Corner. I'm gonna link it in the description below. It's really nice, it's a two part epoxy, two to one part epoxy, excuse me, super clear, really low on bubbles, and it cures pretty quick. So I thought it would be perfect for this really quick, cute little project. Project. Again, I will link that uh, below, but I really enjoyed this resin. So just getting a good base in these wing coaster molds, and I'm gonna take a popsicle stick and kind of gently get the clear resin down in and around the edges. I'm gonna hit with a little bit of heat after this, kind of building it up to really let those bubbles release from the sides. And I am gonna be using my alcohol inks um, from my Color Joy line. We're gonna actually use a couple of them in this piece. We're gonna use Vivid Purple, Vivid Pink, the Prussian Blue, and even a little of the Cool Gray. And I'm also gonna be using some Panada White Ink. Um, I got, I've been using this stuff for a really long time. You can get big bottles of it on Amazon, and I have a link in the description, but I just found another listing for it on Amazon. You can see right there, it includes a little funnel and that little squeeze bottle. And that comes in super, super handy when we're doing these Petri dish looks and we wanna get just a little dropper of that white going in. So kind of just finally hitting with some heat here. Now the fun part, we're gonna come in with the ink. So this is Vivid Pink. Just gonna do a couple of drops. And then you wanna follow right away with your white. Try to keep this nozzle really clean. I did clean it with a baby wipe um, after each use like this and put the cap on to keep it sealed. And then this is the Vivid Purple. I love the Vivid Purple next to the Vivid Pink. It gives a really beautiful low light, especially when doing like flowers and stuff. I did another flower with this um, at the same time that I didn't include in this video, but I might do like a short of it on here on YouTube and uh, maybe like a reel on Instagram of it because it was just really quick, but it was so beautiful. And now we're gonna use some of the, this is the Prussian Blue, beautiful dark blue. And I'm just really gonna keep working, watching how this is developing and making sure I fill all of my clear spots. I kind of had this vision that the colors were gonna seep down along the sides and they did a little, uh, which I'm happy with. It wasn't like overkill. Um, and I think they turned out really, really cool. They look really kind of artsy and modern and kind of like splashed paint on the wings, which I thought looked really neat. And I wanted to add a little bit more here. I wasn't quite sure. So I did add a little bit of the cool gray ink we're just going around this is some more of the vivid purple a little bit again just trying to clear out any clear space that we still had here and i think it's so cool to watch how the inks kind of morph and move and obviously i have this time lapsed a little bit here's that cool gray so pretty the other colors I have are a beautiful kind of mossy green and gold metallic. And you can get all six as a set in my store or you can get them individually. They're only like $2.50 a bottle and you can see they're pretty big bottles. Um, they're bigger than a lot of the other ones on the market. And I'm really happy with the quality and how they turn out. There's like no sediment in these inks at all. Okay, so just showing you the molds here real quick. Again, these are back in stock in my store and here is how they turned out. So cool, the sides are pretty much clear. You can see how some of those colors started to go down the sides, which I think is really awesome. And yeah, it just kind of looks like this paint splatter because you have the ridges in there of the of the wings, the extra texture in there. So I just thought these turned out really cool, really awesome, just little video here quick for you guys on how to make something really fast. These would be an awesome gift or just a little extra something to have in your store to sell. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Come find me on Instagram at Dryer Days. And until next time, keep on pouring.